Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. I'm Daniel. I am Rex, and we have... Are you ready? Yeah. You're gonna be excited. Oh, I like being excited. Yeah. Oh! Right? Yeah, I told yeah. you you would. Nice! Now here's the best thing. Okay. These weren't even given to us from Waterford. Oh. I mean, they did send us some stuff. Okay, so we can Magnificent Bastards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is from Eric McDaniel. <laughs> Eric McDaniel, you Magnificent. No, I have to. I have to. Look, this is too good. This okay. is too good. Because the whiskey just came out. Now here's what happened, though. Because I know this had to have happened. Mm -hmm. You got so excited, you jumped them ahead in the list. No. Yeah. A little. Yeah! <laughs> not, not, not by much. By maybe like three weeks. So this is, Two as weeks. much as it is, an Eric McDaniel. Yeah. An Eric McDaniel bottle. This yeah. was Daniel kind of choosing what he wanted to do bottle. Do, 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 Eric do. McDaniel, you magnificent. Bastard. <laughs> Fight. All right, so we're going to try these one at a time. Remember, Waterford is from our tour, okay. one farm, right. all the way from the from the farm right. to the barrels. Right. Now, um, remember they put them into like four different kinds of barrels. Yes. New oak, yes. European and American oak, bourbon oak, wait and then... Wait, these have been sipped upon. Well, I'll give you... I, it wasn't me. I'll, it wasn't me. All right. Okay. All right. So, so much sketchiness already. I know. I know. So much sketchiness already. <laughs> totally is. So one of these is, uh, and I'm going to mispronounce this because I didn't even bother Googling it this time. Yes. Banal Farm. Banal Island. Okay. Banal. 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 And then yours is? Bali Kilkavan. Bali Kilkavan. Kilvan. Kilvavan? Kilvavan? Bali Kilkavan. Bali Kilkavan. My favorite thing to do on this show is mispronounce things just willy-nilly but people get really upset but about it let's be honest if we wanted to pronounce it correctly it would be like slightly better than what we do but no we could google it no no i mean it's not like we don't have google no. and sometimes i we, we don't have google. i'll confess sometimes i google it <laughs> and then i intentionally mispronounce things okay so especially things like nebraska uh, or nevada so right. like, here's the thing we, we don't have any kind of financial relationship with these people no but they, they did, did fly us out they did yeah fly us out to ireland and we spent some time so we already like the people yeah we like them a lot but we're not incentivized monetarily to say good things other than we've had like the new make mm -hmm. and some of the things from the barrel house while we were there very very hopeful about what it was developing into I'm excited to see what it did develop into so this was distilled uh, the week 25 of 2016 right and the other one was week 8 2016 all so, of that to say whenever you personally meet people hang out with them like with you, you can try like hell to be objective and people will even convince themselves oh, I'm totally objective shut the hell up you're just unself aware we at least acknowledge that we like these people and that's gonna color Try not to, but it's probably going to color how we are experiencing the whiskey. But when it comes to nose and taste, we're going to try like hell to be as fair as possible. So this one, they both have uh, bourbon and French oak. Yeah. But this one also has new oak, evidently, the vanilla island. Okay. Okay. Now keep in mind, these are just crossing over the, like the three, four year range. This is the range. same one? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. It smells still, still smells kind of new making. It smells young, yes. It's the, um, it's like a fruitier new make. It's developing the fruitiness there. And it got still a light color, but it's definitely a recognizable color. New makey, fresh. Super citrus. Yeah, it's the, it's the lighter, brighter fruits. It's almost like, like lemon cream, uh, like a lemon pastry. Was it this one? Mm -hmm. And that's what's the proof? 50% ABV, mm -hmm. 100 proof. They're doing that in both of them. Yeah, there's a little bit of that uh, single malt. It's all not quite, like it's not a musty musty. The sweetness is what carries the day. Mm -hmm. but it's like a new make sweetness. But you start to see what it's developing into. It's so fruity. Yeah, it's the like, fruitiness. Like aggressively fruity. Yep. But again, the youngness, I think, is apparent even on the nose. We haven't tasted mm -hmm. it yet. Here we go. Ooh, I like it. So do I. It's definitely closer to like even the new make we've been right. trying so before. Basically, no surprises on the taste. No. What I was expecting fresh. from the nose, it brought all of that on the taste, but it is young. Yeah, and it yeah. is almost tastes like, usually when I get young malt, it, right. it always makes me more grain heavy. 
Mm -hmm. It's more musty. Right. Right? This is Sweet. more like Fruit. bright, zesty, fruity. Yeah. Young. But still young. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, what is she, like three or four years old? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's not going to be any kind of surprising maturity for a three to four year old whiskey. There, it's the amount oh. of development, amount of development you'd expect. I can't wait to see where that goes. Yeah, I already like it. So, in terms of it being young, I like it, but mm -hmm. I think in terms of it being as good as it could be, no, it's not there yet. I think it'll get better with time. You're always a fan of these glass corks. I got to tell no, you, I'm never, still, look, never ever. They look beautiful i specifically didn't mention that because i like the glass corks and it would just look like i'm you know making up reasons to say good things about the whiskey i will fight against us ever using glass corks till the day i die but i can take you i hate taking these things you wanna, like off. fight fight like you assume that fighting fair is involved i can i can be dirty i'm a dirty boy you will you will never fight as shady as i i'm would a fight. dirty boy <laughs> uh by the way remember whoa, we, whoa, we should name whoa, the whoa, farmers because remember yes ed harper was the last whiskey, so right? The, Ed Harper was the farmer. The interesting thing, the fun thing about Waterford is they're exploring this idea of terroir in whiskey. Uh, and so the, um, the only difference they have going across these bottlings mm -hmm. is it's like the same proof, the same mash bill, the same type of grain, the same everything. It's just where was that grain sourced from? Going down to the specific farm, the specific farmer, and then only using that barley throughout the entire process. No mixing and combining with other things. Mm -hmm. Just what does that farm taste like? What does that farm taste like? Just keep everything else the same. And then I think you, you said they're doing some like barrel finishing experiments. Yeah, there's, so there's typically, they said, dominantly four types of barrels are putting things into yeah. every time. Yeah. <coughs> Which <coughs> lets them blend from a specific farm. You gonna make it? <laughs> I swallowed. Oh, wrong. <laughs> Nailed my own spit. <laughs> I wasn't even drinking anything. <laughs> Ow. Take a moment. <coughs> well, don't Rona all over the whiskeys. I just got Rona tested. Did you? Did you? I don't know. No, well, you need to click that link by today. Where did the, yeah, what time? You need to at least order that test by today. Oh, was I supposed to do that? Oh, yeah. You've got a link sitting in your inbox for the last five days. <coughs> just give me a moment here. <laughs> <laughs> I was supposed to order something. Don't people do this for me? Why am I? What's it called? Rona? What am I looking for? Um, Daniel at Whiskey Tribe. COVID. COVID. Just a moment. <laughs> do, uh, do, so do, from do. Dallas. Do, do, do. Uh, which one? Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. You, you do it. I'm not looking through there. Well, you do it. <laughs> I'm gonna check from my email and see where it went. <clears throat> ah, ow! We'll worry about this later. All right. So, already, these are so incredibly different on the nose. And you said these are different barrel finishes? Mm-hmm. Okay. Wow. Like, any kind of, you know, fresh, fruity, kind of citrusy, light notes that are on the first one. This one, the Bally Kilikaman. It's way more dark fruit. It's way more, well, it, it, hold on a second. I'm, comparatively. Comparatively, I'm thinking more of like a dryness. I'm getting away from sweetness. I'm getting like this a much more dry character, much more of like a hay note. I'm getting the opposite of that. You're getting I'm getting like, way more of a darker fruit than on the other one. Mm. Did you pick up the right one? Look for no, a I know what the, 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 the Okay. <laughs> Use your words. That's the response that question deserved. It's such a nonsense question. Yeah, very, very different on the nose. I'm getting a dryness on the nose. You're getting a darker fruit on the nose. Mm -hmm. Oh, I am getting a dryness on the taste, though. Like a dry white wine. Yeah. Like a dry... And still young, but it does mm -hmm. seem a little bit more developed and less new makey. I think this one, one didn't have the virgin oak casks. Okay. It was all used casks. Ah, uh, so. I think. Okay. Yeah. All right. And by the way, this one is by farmer David Walsh Chemist. Yeah. And, and whenever they're running stuff through, um, like in the, you know, we'll link to the episode from our channel up here. Um, Can you taste farms and whiskey on our other channel? And one of the cool things they do is whenever they're having like a, a run go through the still, they'll have the farmer's name yeah. of all of the distillates going through that that farmer grew. 
that farmer's name is, is right up there. So yeah, it's really cool, really cool to track the process from the land all the way to the bottle. And no. then see, even everything else is the same. Just what did the land, what grew differently with that same strain of barley in all these different locations across Ireland? We're not getting to taste that uh, because they're mixing barrels. These are barrels, right. And right, so right. <clears throat> it's we're not necessarily getting terroir difference. We're getting barrel aging difference. Well, right now. But well, the thing that was really fun about that episode is when mm -hmm. we were there. Even the new make had terroir. Yeah, you could, ex uh, you could explore the new make, mm -hmm. which there's no barrel impact difference to speak of. That is yeah. just spirit compared to spirit. Are you able to find differences? And absolutely you can. I wish they could release the new make stuff. I just mean, as a science experiment, they wouldn't be able to call it whiskey. Well, but I think, I, I wouldn't be surprised if they do this someday. I'm assuming everything that they're making now, they're just trying to ramp up production yeah. so they have enough to get in barrels and then eventually in bottles. Mm -hmm. mm. This one is, seems more simple, more like a dry white wine. But it is, as I, as I get used to the dryness, Cuban, yeah. it is getting a darker honey sweetness. Whereas this one, all the fruitiness was there and stayed there. Mm -hmm. Oh. And it's more grainy coming back. I'm getting more malt. So you're going back. back to the first fruity one. Yeah. All right. I went back to this one, and I got like some baking spices along with that mm. that dry, <clears throat> almost like a, almost was like a hay note for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's nice though. I like those. I like those. But you know they are young mm -hmm. and they taste young. But it's also very promising in the direction that I think these are heading in right now. Yeah. All right. Nick Nell, as the weather begins to get colder, what are your favorite hot whiskey drinks? I'm usually against cocktails or mixing with my whiskey, but hell, sometimes you gotta venture out. Recipes are always welcome. So you got some favorite cocktail recipes, just put them in the description below. I've got one. So I know Only yours. one. I know yours. Yeah. And I've had yours. It's so dangerously good. Because I've stood in line yeah. outside in cold weather, mm -hmm. and then you, you pull, you you present the flask, mm -hmm. you start pouring the things. Mm -hmm. It's quite, oh, it's, it's so trashy. Oh and, yeah. And really tasty good. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, budget bourbon and Swiss Miss hot cocoa. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, like store Swiss Miss yeah. hot cocoa and some budget bourbon. Yeah, yeah. It's, oh, it's man. way better than it deserves to oh, be. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's like, I feel like I should be in like a, like a rundown trailer park, sipping on this thing, yeah. but it's so good. <laughs> Brian Anderson. With your Velveeta cheese dip. And <laughs> that's, that's good too. Yeah. I would make. Rotel tomatoes and Velveeta. Dude, I would make such a You good, are a I would make such a Oh, gosh. I missed my true calling. <laughs> redneck? I should have been a redneck. My redneck cousin's in town. Yeah, I know. I I met him. No, that's a real redneck. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you should have this trailer. You know why I never get sick? Why, why is that, Paul? Just drink water from the hose. <laughs> It's like, what? It's like, yeah, it just keeps you, keeps all the germs at bay. Spray Windex on it. <laughs> it's redneck science, man. <laughs> Brian Anderson. Uh, has anyone tried Michael Scott's Scotch? Oh, the Splenda yeah. from The Office. Yeah, we did that in an we episode. We did that in an episode, but I don't remember it. What did you think? And, well, it's sweet. <laughs> mm hmm Yeah. Uh, tastes like Splenda gets you drunk like Scotch. I think it's what he says. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it really does. It tastes like splendid to get your drunk like scotch. Fair enough. Yeah. All right. What if we blended these two? Uh, I think that's it. You think you're going to do the blending here? I am. All right. Of the, of the two, which did you prefer? I, honestly, I preferred the nose of the uh, island. Yeah. And I preferred the... Ironically, the, I, at first, I didn't like the palate of the Valley Cacavan because go, go back it was like, so dry. Yeah, you had to go back like two or three times, and then it starts to reveal some other flavors yes. and stuff. Yeah. And I, I felt better about it after that. For me, I think even though this is a little bit uh, more new makey, the first one we had than the second one, I think I like the first. And I, I think I'm more excited about the direction that the first one is going in. Mm -hmm. But I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying about this unlocking some flavors. I have to go back to it a few times. Yeah. Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. Fight me a fight for a friend. Steal, may you steal your livers. And if you drink, may, may you, you drink, drink with us. us.